Okay, non male Kim? Not familiar at all. Wait. Wait, this is like crazy melodic. Did he just drop a pentakill? <laughs> Did he just drop a pentakill? Dude, non male has the most memorable verse so far. I Hello everyone, what is one? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel. And I say K-pop, but actually we are we are uh, we are going to be starting fulfilling one of my New Year's goals for 2021, which is to get more K-hip-hop on the channel. Um, given how much K-hip-hop I listen to, there has been a tragic lack of K-hip-hop on the channel. Um, especially, I'm especially embarrassed that I didn't post reactions to any of the MVs for the um the higher stuff the compilation i l absolutely love that album to death um i've been a j park stan since a year before i even got into k-pop so coming up on three years now um so i i feel really bad it just it didn't happen this year's been insane for me but or i guess last year was insane for me but one of my goals for 2021 in general is to get more k-hip-hop on the channel and especially when there's a big project like this you guys know um i didn't react to 119 because i i'm like I said i heard what that way before i even knew what k-pop was didn't have a channel um and then i automatic i am a massive fan of that song the remix i i i made a video reacting to other people's remixes before they even dropped the official remix and so my point is, when I see these big, multi-artist, 15, 20-minute collab songs, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a point to react to them, especially when they're K-hip-hop. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited. I don't know who's on this. I, I haven't really, I didn't like look at the list of artists or anything. Um, I know for a fact 12's on it, and I know Swervy's on it. Um, other than that, I don't know, but I know it's a ton of people and it's going to be flames probably. It's called Code Clear. Shout out to Dingo. Dingo, man. I don't know why I'm not subbed to Dingo Freestyle, but Dingo drops so much heat. <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited. I've not heard the beat for this at all. I, I don't have an artist list. This is obviously going to be a long reaction because it's a 20 minute song to begin with. YDG. Okay. Okay. Not super familiar with YDG. YDG. Maybe I've heard him on a feature. Okay. Okay. Is he setting up a hook? Obviously, I know Simon Dominic is. Mm. Bro. COVID-19. COVID-19. After quarantine. Oh my. Bro, we're, we're running Simon Dominic's whole verse back. There's Simon Dominic is He's so good He's so good His voice is absurd The flow is like butter Loco The, the transition of Simon Dominic to Loco um, obviously I've heard it before, but like the the direct transition between them is always crazy because Simon and Dominic is like this is low gravelly, I'm hip hop, I'ma hurt you. And then Loco comes in with like the the lighter, nasally punchy, like bah, 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 voice. And it's just, it's fire. Still smooth though. Let's go. I didn't look at who produced this either, but the beat is nice. PY! This is higher profile than I thought it would be. Like I said, I saw Swervy in 12, but I didn't see any of these guys talk about it. I haven't really been following K hip hop Instagram and Twitter stuff like I need to, though. PY! Punchinello! Oh, he's, he's going with the really punchy flow. 
Dude, Punchinello, <laughs> appropriately, I guess, um, Punchinello is crazy because Punchinello, I feel like, all the time does these um, super crisp endings to his syllables. I don't know if that's why he's named Punchinello or, or if it just is a fantastic coincidence, but, like, Punchinello is so... He's so percussive with the way he ends syllables. It sounds fantastic. Every time. Especially because I brought the trap, the, uh, like, the snare in for him to kind of emphasize, emphasize that. Good. Some triple flows with some whispers. Okay. Okay. Puff Dahi Dahi? Yeah. Obviously probably a play on Puff Daddy. <laughs> Not familiar. I've heard on Educated Kid. <laughs> he, he, he went super theatrical with, with this presentation. Dude, he's this is fun. He's like he's like crazy person arguing with himself in the mirror for this. He said, I'm gonna make this theatrical. Oh, we're two minutes in. We're 10% done with this. Bill Stacks. Have I heard Bill Stacks? I don't think so. <laughs> Everybody's doing weird stuff with their camera. I love it. Save yourself. I know who Tiger JK is. Ah. Oh, he's so good. Also, respect for the for the portrait in the back. Respect. Mm. The control. Busy, alright. He has a cool voice, too. I've never, like, sat down to listen to him, but I've heard him on other people's tracks. I'm always like, oh, that busy guy's dope. Yeah, see? What's the definition? There's a really good combination of different styles already. It seems like they're like, they put an aggressive hitter, and then they have somebody who's like more low key, a little bit more chill, a little bit more of like a hook feel. I like it. It's melodic stuff. Can't let no Rona play with me. Oh. I'm not really familiar with this guy. Okay. Oh, I really like his voice. Well, hold on. I gotta, I gotta write down that guy's name. Gigwin. Gigwin. I don't know how to say it. But I actually, I, I dig his voice. I mean, I agree with that sentiment. Thank you. Like I said, peripherally aware. Never like listen to a track from him specifically. Ah, uh, that was intricate. Good job. Okay, going with the melodic auto tune. It's not too excessive, though. Nice. I like this. Shout out Jamez. YDG again. So, this was the hook. 
This sounded like the hook. I I'm glad I wasn't wrong. This does feel like the hook. I the first time I was like, this has to be the hook of the song. <laughs> this song's really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, BB! Oh, I didn't even know BB was on this track. I did not even know she was on this track. Oh, and it still clicked. What a nice surprise. Oh, dude, and they sink the beat drop back in with her eye, dude. Why is BB so attractive? I don't know. Her voice is just magical. Her voice is just magical. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, I love her so much. What an actual character. Oh, and she went into vocal fry on the fade out. Dude, I love BB so much. She went for a super sexy vocal sound here, though. Okay. Nong Mil Kim? Not familiar at all. Wait. Wait, this is like crazy melodics. Did he just drop a pentakill? Did he just drop a pentakill? Dude, Nongmel has the most memorable verse so far. I, okay, BB maybe. BB maybe. But like, as far as... That's just my bias. That's just because BB is BB. Just removing bias. Just talking about the actual sound of the verse. Which BB had a great one. I think non... I don't know this guy. Nongmil Kim. He has a nice singing voice. And then he flows. But then he goes into the descending here. <laughs> awesome, Moon? Dude, I... I I'm so happy I reacted to this. I'm so happy I reacted to this. And I'm also happy I didsee a list of artists. I'm happy I just came in blind. <laughs> Bro, I keep seeing you pop up everywhere, Moon. And you're always fantastic. I like the double on that. Hey! What is he on the PR headset on? I love it. Another melodic lower. Nice. Wait, did he say someone on the track? He did. GB? Who's GB? Dude, is that somebody I'm supposed to know? Think, let me think. GB, GB. B-I-E. That flow. Wow, the rhyming, the three-letter rhyme flow sounds like it might be simple, but it's really nice. Coogie's so nice. I never put enough respect on Coogie's name, to be honest. B-I-P. G-I-E. I love that. B-I-G. Oh. Okay. I think Blaze is how you say it, right? I don't remember if it's Blaze or Blase. I think it's Blaze. I've heard him. He's good. Not super familiar with his music, but I've definitely heard him before. Okay. That's a fire coat. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna assume that the guy in the video is not on Byungwoon because it does sound like a girl. She sounds fire. But you know, who knows? Maybe it could be this guy. I'm not familiar with this person's music, so. I don't think that's the rapper there in the video. QM? I love the whistle. Sorry. Ran random, random interjection about the beat. I love the whistle in this. Like the descending whistle? Why is that so cool? Ah! That was really smooth. That transition was really smooth. Okay, 12 singing. I need to listen to more 12 music too. Ooh, nice vocal basic. Oh, dude, basic sounds incredible. He has one of my favorite verses so far already too. It's not fair because I like basic voice so much. I mean, he is rapping well. Ah, oh, nice bit of double time. <laughs> Why would he start with the fish on his monitor? By the way, that's a really nice freaking monitor. It's random, but. Okay. Uh, dude, video is dope. Peep the run, D run DMC in the back too. Nice light flow. Happy New Year! Oh, the Lamars! He sounds dope on everything I hear, man, too. Mm. Verbal Jin! What an OG. <laughs> First time I heard Verbal Jin? No. The first time I recognize hearing him and remember hearing him was on the Taeyeon feature uh, on her solo debut, I. But I definitely had heard him on... Was he on 119? He was on 119, so I definitely heard him on 119 before that. I don't remember if I heard him anywhere else. Probably on some feature from someone. He's dope. I've been quarantining for years. I've been for years. Wow. His command is crazy. Oh, 10 fingers together. Instead of saying, let's pray, he said 10 fingers together. Dude, a verbal gin is. He's nuts. He's nuts. His, his, his use of English and Korean, the way he raps, um, and, and obviously I, I talk about like, oh, the way everyone goes, oh, the way that you rhyme the languages together, but like, seriously, Verbal Jin is a master of language. 
Yeah. Like just in general. Which is what hip hop is, right? It's using language as a tool to have impact to make something. That's so cool. Okay. Okay. That was a nice flow. <laughs> I like to hold up on a weight. Nice text painting. Simba. <laughs> that was clever. I like him. Lil Tachi! I didn't know who he was until Good Girl. Going for that demonic flow? He's actually so charismatic though. Ooh. Okay, back to the YDG chorus. I like that hook. I don't know who this is either. But he has a he has a nice voice as well. He's got a rapper rapper voice. Mm. Okay. This is this is the fastest flow we've had so far. Oh. Oh. Kim Sung Min. Oh, uh, this verse right here. Oh, the Mike Will shout out? Let's go. Just drop a Mike Will in there. Oh, I forgot how to even say his name. Is it online? O L N L? I forgot how to say his name. Like I said, the auto tune light flow. Oh, the, the this switch up here is nice though. He's showing off two flows at least. That's cool, actually. Swerdy! Wow, release me to the fields. My face is covered by my office. Says it for me that I'm about to trip on a spaz and get your beach in. Can it not a rule on the side? I ain't a vision. Cool, clear, hundred seconds. So see me scream hardcore. See my pal, I just eat me. Yes, sir. Yes. She has so much presence. Like, I don't normally like auto tune rappers uh, that use this stylistically. She's just cool, man. <laughs> no. Wow, She's just cool. My face is covered by my office. Says it for me that I'm about to trip on a spaz and get your beach in Canada. The rule on the side, I ain't no vision. I mean, she has nice flow as well. That does help. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big naughty. Let's go. Big naughty. I love. I love. I was. I was just about to pause it. I swear to you, I was just about to pause it and say, I hope he goes into like his um his faster flow so like big naughty often will do this with his verses from what i've noticed so far from the little bit that i've heard from him he'll set up this like kind of a vibey and then he goes into and it's just very almost dancey um like nice little fast like quick snappy flow in a higher tone of voice and he sounds so cool like what a revelation uh, beat sign to to hire.
Of the higher editions, um, it's no no hate to trade out. I like trade out a lot too. I like them both. Screw it. I, I really really like Big Naughty is what I'm saying. I also like trade out quite a bit. But like Big Naughty does this really cool thing with his with his secondary flow that's really nice. You ready for it? Almost like a whisper flow. Dude. Oh, I love it. Oh, that was amazing. He's a clown. <laughs> Speaking of percussive, lay one, let's go. Dude, he's insane. He sounds like a crazy. He, he just. Dude, I think I've heard him. I've heard him on other stuff. I love like the sharp breathing. Like he's super unique. Always. Dude, I. He's awesome. Okay. I was just say owl mood singing. Well, never mind. He, he's melodic. He's melodic rapping. I thought he was just gonna sing at the beginning, but. The flow's coming. Nah, that was three flows. Let's go. Jerd. I go back and forth on Jared because okay, she's obviously dope. Like that's that's pretty much undisputable. But for my taste, like I said, uh, the use of auto tune stylistically not my favorite sound. No discrediting artists that do it. It's just not for me. Um. And so often I think Jerd, at least from the little bit that I've heard, every time I've heard Jerd, I'm always like, she, sometimes she just uses the autotune and I'm like, I don't really like how it sounds. And it's, it's just a choice, right? That she likes, she likes the autotune. I don't like listening to it. It's fine. Here, I, I don't mind it though. I think this is not bad. Actually, I could vibe to this verse. Like, her automatic verse was not for me. But this is a good verse. <laughs> you must come back home. Chorus? Young Leon Eon G, let's go, Eon G. Once again, good girl. It's the only reason I know who, who she is. I didn't. Uh, maybe I should just go back and watch High School Rapper. I need to catch up on Show Me the Money first. Ah, uh, guys, I used to watch Show Me the Money. I, I have to binge it when I watch Show Me the Money. It's like it's like junk food to me. It's like I have to <laughs> insert fat joke here. You eat it all the time. This is valid. Um, but it's like junk food in that like man, like I don't always want Show Me the Money because it feels kind of like not trashy, but it's like. Ha! Dramatic reality! Rappers! You know what I mean? But I love that the performances are always great. Um, but, so, like, I need to be in a certain mood to watch it, but when I am in that mood, I just binge, like, two or three seasons. So I've only seen through Show Me the Money, like, seven. So I need to watch eight, nine, and now we're on ten, I think. So, anyway, sorry. Point being, Young G, I don't know who she is. I didn't know who she is until Good Girl, and she's dope. Oh, that was a long way of saying that. In an already long reaction. 
thousand twenty. I love her voice. I know to do next time against blue pandemic. Give me do the ball of this, and I said it's five. I'm so comfortable. I'm not feeling cocky, but I better feel nasty. But I'm not that's right. I teach you, I got in the gotcha. Mitch, a dumb chimota, then got in the Mitch. Oh, Corona blue, my good touch of boots. A jab, a ginger one, huh? She's so the pink and a condian. And just the oo woo at the end. <laughs> She just murders everyone and then she's like, by the way, I'm still just a really wholesome, cute person, so. Uh, okay, chin. I don't know who this is. But I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this, actually. Homies. Oh, it's a crew. I haven't even listened to homies either. Either. So I don't know any of these guys. I don't think. Man, I need to based on the sound though. Did they make custom masks for them? Please tell me they sent code clear art masks to all these artists. Or he just had one printed. That's doing the most, dude. That's fantastic. Not sure about Louis' voice, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how much I could listen to Louis. Oh, let's go. Nice smooth, stable verse. Yeah, Rohan is dope. Bro, how did he get so many syllables out of that? Like two sentences. Wait. Okay. Co C O V D. 19 adios like he he turns this into like freaking three minutes <laughs> yeah i was gonna say the future joke about mask on mask off <laughs> every time i hear rohan i'm like i need to listen to more khaki i don't know who this is Mm. Debo Saiyan, okay. Debo. Did I call him Debo? His name's Debo. No disrespect. My bad. <laughs> I can't take him seriously. I feel bad laughing. Shout out to nurses. He just has a bunch of girls in the back. <laughs> Bro, you're not social. I don't think you're getting the point of this, Debo. This is not social distancing, my man. <laughs> this is a song about social distancing and how much the pandemic sucks. Who knows? Maybe they're living in a bubble with him. That would be pretty baller. Okay. This is a name I've seen, but I've not heard him. Uh, maybe once I've heard him on a feature or something. I like his flow a lot. Vonstein? Vonstein? I think it's Vonstein, right? Trade out! Trade out! I was just talking about you earlier. Glad you're on this too. Yeah, they do have your back. Higher gang. <laughs> Dude, I... Higher gang, that's all I'm saying. The whistle in this song is dope. I love the descending whistle hook. <laughs> Win, 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 win
He ramps. He's, he speed ramps phrases really well. So, like, speed ramping, if you don't know what that is, it's like, basically, it's like you have one statement, like, hello, my name is McKinley. And I would say, if you're rapping it, you know, you could rap it in beat. You could say, hello, my name is McKinley. Or you could say, hello, my name is McKin Hello, my name is McKinley. And it's like, obviously, that's a terrible example because I'm not a rapper at all. But like linguistically, it sounds really cool when you speed ramp. Basically, you just compress the time signature towards the end of your line. It's really nice. Basically, it lets you fit more syllables into really cool places and stay in pocket. <laughs> Not familiar with him. He looks like. Sorry, it's not that you can't look like a nice guy and be a rapper, right? But he does look like a nice dude, you know? Like he's like wearing a Christmas sweater. Like, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh my just chill. Okay. 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 Speaking of deep Old voices, is what they look for. It's all about the passion and taking time. Only both are now knows if we better restart. Hey, I'm a songwriter. Or they don't yell Johnny Catalia Ganda with my whole heart. With my whole heart. Dude, that's cool. By the way, also, I'm seeing another code clear mask. So I'm pretty sure Dingo made masks and sent them to all 60 some artists. Which is dope. I'm a song That's dope. Oh, he has a pun. Oh, he has a pun. Oh, he has a puppy. <laughs> I don't know who this is, but they are wholesome. Yeah, exactly. F the nasty virus. He sounds so angry. I love it. Ah, the way he rolled that. Ah, he rolled. Dude, he's dope. I've heard him, like I said, only a handful of times. Right here. Oh. That might be that might be my favorite verse. I don't know, man. There's a couple. There's a ton of really good ones. Not a couple. There's 60 verses here and 62 actually, and all of them have been pretty good. Um. This might be one of my favorites, though. It's really good. <laughs> All right, here's the list. Okay, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it ride out. <laughs> Baby five and again. Neon G. Wow, dude. I didn't like. I said I'm glad I didn't watch. I'm glad I didn't watch teasers for this. This is dope, though. Okay, let's look at the full list artists. Okay, Goosebumps, YDG uh, had the chorus. Uh, Simon Dominic, Loco, BY, Punch Nello, Puff Dehi, Uneducated Kid, Bill Stack. Dude, this is this is a lineup. This is a lineup. Um, talk about my favorite artists. I think um, some of the verses that stood out the most to me, Tiger JK always stands out to me on everything he does. He's just really good. Um, same thing with Simon Dominic. Punchnello, I think, had a really cool verse doing Punchnello things. Um, 
Gigwin? I'm not familiar with. Um, before this, but I was impressed a lot. Uh, BB Nongmil Kim. I think Nongmil Kim maybe had the most memorable verse on the whole thing. I really, really vibed with that. Like I said, pleasantly shocked BB was even here. Cool to see Moon. Cool to see a bunch of people pop up. Kugi had a really nice verse. I'm not familiar with On Byung Wung, who I need to look up. Um, Basic killed it. Verbal Jin killed it. Basically, everybody killed it. But I'm just trying to point out a couple of standouts. Kim Sung Min absolutely popped off. Um, Big Naughty's always good. Leong Ji. Uh, Rohan. Rohan in particular stood out to me quite a bit. Um, I said that about like 30 people now. And then Gwang Il Jo as well. So, yeah, just a couple of my favorites. Really dope project. I love Korea. Never stop doing this. Like, I think that's one of the things that obviously South Korea. In general, I think it's a combination of societal pressure, uh, an insane work culture, and just a drive for excellence in general and success. But anything that there's a scene for, oftentimes Koreans excel at, um, especially if it's something technical, like intricate or difficult oh, okay. on a technical level. Um, you know, things like professional gaming, things like ping pong, like very technical detail-oriented things. Um, obviously, that carries very well into music composition and hip hop. So I think that's one of the strongest things about it. But also, it's just the that insane drive and that attention to detail and perfection. But I also think the other thing that makes K hip hop different from other countries' hip hops, uh, hip hop, um, in industries. Why didn't I say other countries' hip hops? <laughs> Sound like an old man. Um, but what what makes K hip hop stand out? I think compared to other other hip-hop industries right now is that just how collaborative it is the fact that there are songs like 119 there are songs like code clear like i know automatic was r&b but there were plenty of hip-hop artists on that as well um not only these big collaborative projects but all the time you like like epic high for example you look at epic high's feature list on his up on their upcoming album and it's like Look at the feature list, like the amount of collaboration, just how open everybody is to work with so many other artists. Um, it creates this really, really cool culture of people like so many of these artists. I would never find out if not for big songs like this. Do you know what I mean? Like if not for if not for features, like I would not know who most of these people are. Um, and so like BB, I only know who BB is from Fever, from JYP's song. And at the time, I didn't even know who she was. I thought it was the girl. Of I hadn't watched Parasite yet either, but I thought it was the the actress rapping. Um, but, like, so my point is, like, so many of these artists are so collaborative, and it, it leads to really cool projects like this that you just don't get in American hip-hop or any other hip-hop industry that I've seen. Um, and it's really dope. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. This was, like, what, an hour long or something after, after I edited it? Um, I love this. Korea, please don't stop doing these projects. Shout out to Dingle Freestyle. Shout out to all the producers of the video, uh, director, all those people at the top up there, writers, sound designers, mix, mastering, uh, compose, produce, arranged by Goosebumps. I don't know who you are. I've probably heard beats that you've made before, but this was dope, really well played. Um, and then obviously all the artists as well. So thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember to stay in a bit. Thank you so much to everyone for your support on Patreon with special appreciation going out to SJ's ATM, Muse Ribbons, Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Lucky 7 Gen, CJ, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, and Robert Phillip.